Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So it is Thursday and this is kind of crazy because I don't post on Thursdays, but I have some extra time. So I decided to do an awesome tutorial here using Illustrator, creating some sort of flat 2D uh, Christmas vectors. And I'm gonna show you guys how we can use Illustrator to create some awesome things really fast. So uh, don't worry, I'm still gonna be posting After Effects tutorials on tomorrow, which is Friday. So. Let's go ahead and let's dive right into Illustrator and create some awesome graphics. So have a new document here um, and you just go to file new to create a new document. But here we are in a blank comp and we're gonna go ahead and start creating some uh, vectors. So let's start with perhaps the toughest graphic right now and that is gonna be the present and it's really very easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the rectangle tool and we're gonna hold that down and grab the rounded rectangle tool and let's just draw out like a nice little rectangle top like this. And let's go ahead and change the color to white. And I'm only gonna use white in this tutorial. Maybe a little bit red for this present, but you can change your colors over here and make sure to turn off the stroke if you wanna do something that's flat. And you know, if we zoom in here, we can kind of see we have a rectangle and it's a little bit rounded, but if we wanted to go ahead and change that, what we can do is we can kind of select this corner say over here. And as you can see, things become a little bit more rounded but we want the bottom of this box to not be rounded. So what we're gonna do is just make sure we select one of these points here and just hold it out, all the way, like drag it all the way out to the bottom until it's a perfect uh, angle there. And we'll just go ahead and do this side as well. And see it's rounded at the top, but a right angle at the bottom. And that's exactly what we want. And let's go ahead and maybe just copy this and we will paste it in place. You can go up to edit and paste in place. And then we can just go here to drag this down. And maybe what we can do is just rotate this by 180 degrees. Hold down shift to kind of lock it in 45 degree increments. And we can come here and just expand the bottom here and maybe like make it just a little bit smaller. And if we select both of these shapes here, at the top here, there's the align tabs. And let's go ahead and horizontal align this. So as you can see, everything's basically lined up perfectly in the center. And you know, looks pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and maybe create the ribbon on this. So let's go grab the rectangle tool once again. And you know, let's go here and draw like a straight line down like this. And maybe this time we'll change the color to more of a red color. There you go. Like that. And what we can do here is we select all of our objects and we can go to the shape builder tool, which is right down here. And we can hold down alt on our keyboard and we can kind of select this little place right here that we don't want and I'll delete it because you know we're kind of creating some separation here some sort of cool graphic design concepts and make sure you know once again we'll go ahead and center all this or select everything and we'll just center it all up to make sure everything's aligned perfectly and then let's go ahead and create the actual uh, I guess ribbon portion of this which is a little bit tougher but we'll go ahead and get through it. it's pretty easy actually so let's go ahead and just select like this long rectangle here and let's copy it and paste it and you know what we can do is maybe rotate it by you know 45 degrees you know, maybe not even that much, but we'll go ahead and just do that. And maybe we can shorten it up by a little bit. And you know, that looks okay. So we need to start customizing this just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is maybe hit A on my keyboard to select the direct selection tool, which is over here. And we'll go ahead and maybe, you know, hold down shift and click this point and then maybe just reselect it by clicking it. And we can kind of just drag this point in a little bit and we'll be kind of curving it off a little, you know, just by a touch, maybe I'll bring it in just a little bit more. And you know, that's a good start. And then what we'll do is we'll hit P on our keyboard to bring up the pen tool, which is over here. And we can go down here to the middle and kind of just add a point right to the center here and maybe hit A again. And we can kind of drag this point in. And you know, we're kind of you know creating a nice little ribbon. Let's say we don't want this to be like points and all. Like what we can do is maybe select the point over here and we go to the top here where it says convert. And we can just like click this uh, sort of uh, anchor points button here, which is nice and smooth. And it does create a little bit of an issue here, but we can go ahead and drag this vertice in it by a touch, you know, kind of even that out. And then we kind of could drag this one out a little bit. If we hold down alt, we'll only move this vertice as we move it. So the other one will not be affected. And then we can also do the same for the other one. So make sure that point selected and convert it to a smooth anchor point. And we can just drag this one back in there. And, you know, for the most part, you know, we have some nice, um, uh, you know, a nice little ribbon to go off here. And let's go and maybe just wrap this up. Let's go and just, you know, copy this and we'll paste it in place. And then we go up to object, transform, and we can click on reflect. 
and you'll make sure preview is enabled just so you see what we're doing. And we're going to flip it over the vertical axis and we'll click OK. And then we can come here and kind of just put this in place here. So we're going to go ahead and select everything and align everything in the center here and maybe bring this back over here. And then we can kind of start putting this in the right spot. So maybe I'll go ahead and maybe put this top corner aligned to there. And then I'll grab this other ribbon side and make sure it's aligned to that corner as well. So now we've kind of created a ribbon here. If we need to, we can select both these shapes and we can always drag them out by a little bit like that. Um, and of course, make sure everything's selected. Go back to the Shape Builder tool and just kind of delete the par parts that shouldn't be, uh, you know, in the center here. And we kind of just created a uh, yeah, nice little present here. So this is done. Let's go ahead and just scale this down and get it out of the way. And we can go over here to Layers and we can call this one uh, you know, gift or something, and we can lock that layer. And let's go ahead and create a new layer, and we'll go ahead and create a ribbon. And things are gonna get a little bit easier from here because that was probably the the creating that sort of um, ribbon on the gift was a, pretty much not the easiest thing ever. But let's go and uh, grab the polygon tool here, and we're gonna create a legitimate ribbon uh, like uh, this right here. So make sure the polygon tool is selected, and just click anywhere. And this little pop-up will come here. Set the number size to three and click OK. And then let's hit V on our keyboard to go back to our selection tool. And let's rotate this by uh, 90 degrees. And let's go to our direct selection tool. And let's just select one point here and click on the smooth uh, anchor points for the uh, top portion of our vertice and our bottom portion here. Turn those on. And we kind of have like a nice little ribbon just like this. We didn't have, even have to do anything. And let's go and you know hit V on our keyboard. Let's copy this. Let's paste it in place, and we can just rotate this you know completely around just like that. And what's nice about having the ribbon portion done down here is that we can just like select this bottom portion here and copy it and paste it. And we can just like expand this and make it kind of big and set it to white as well. And we just have to kind of refine the top here. And so what we'll do to refine that is we'll just come here and you'll select one of these vertice points and kind of just bring it to the top kind of like that and we can kind of just delete this point and now we kind of have a nice little straight uh you know vertice like that and maybe what we can do to close this up to make it kind of perfect go to the pen tool you know and click on this uh, bottom vertice over here and reconnect it to the top and this way we'll kind of just have it you know nice and neat for us from a design or from like at least a, a technical standpoint and you know there we can kind of just put it in place like this and then maybe we can just copy it you know paste it in place go up to object transform and reflect it over the y-axis you know maybe we'll just select both of these and kind of just try to give it a place like this and maybe one last element we can do is go come here go to the ellipse tool and we can create like a sort of like a center point if you really want to and just you know Put that in a nice little spot kind of like that so it kind of looks like it's all buttoned up correctly um if we want maybe what we can do is just select you know all these objects here except for the circle and make them just a little bit smaller and we can kind of just bring the circle back in there and maybe we can just hold down shift and hit the left arrow key on this uh, ribbon here move it back just a little bit and grab the uh, right ribbon here and you know, hold down shift and hit the right arrow key so we can kind of create just a little bit more separation here. All right, so now that our ribbon's done, we can kind of just come here, you know, shorten it down and put it over here. And then we can kind of move on to our next element, which we'll do a Christmas tree for this one. If you've been watching my After Effects tutorials, I've created the Christmas tree probably a couple of times, but just for this tutorial, since this is kind of a standalone video, I'm gonna go ahead and just create another Christmas tree here. And we'll call this one uh, tree. I created a new layer down here if I didn't explain that under the layers tab. I'm sorry if I'm kind of rushing through this, but uh, you know, just concentrating on creating vectors. So let's go ahead and grab the polygon tool once again and make sure that it's set to three sides and click OK. And then we'll go here, we'll hit V on our keyboard and these little circles here, let's go ahead and just uh, drag these down a little bit and we'll kind of create sort of a rounded triangle just like this. And, you know, maybe just because the tree is going to be really big, let's just go ahead and just size this down a little bit and hold down Alt and Shift to proportionally size everything down in the center from the center's perspective. And let's go ahead and copy this and paste it in place and, you know, bring it down a little bit. Hold down Alt and Shift on your keyboard to kind of, you know, resize it, make it a little bit bigger than the previous triangle. 
And then of course where you position this is up to you. And then maybe what we can do is just select both of these again, or select both of your triangles here, copy them, paste them in place, bring them down a little bit and make them bigger, you know, as well. Maybe like something like that. And maybe we can move this one up a little bit. So now we kind of have the base of a Christmas tree. And then we'll go ahead and grab like the rounded rectangle tool and just draw out like a, a tree stump like that and, you know, center it all up. And maybe now that our tree is done, we can come here, you know, resize it down and put it in its place with our other vectors. And let's go ahead and create some ornaments to kind of wrap this up. We'll start off with something very easy and then we'll kind of talk about how we can quickly uh, create our own sort of uh, ornament size. So, so let's go and grab the ellipse tool and let's hold down Alt and Shift to draw out a perfect circle or drag it out like this. And we have a beautiful circle like this and I hate yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of this to like something like gold or something. Actually, that's probably worse. Let's do dark blue. So I can just kind of see where what we're doing. And let's go and grab like the rectangle tool and let's just draw out like a rectangle just like that. If you want, you can center it up as well. And let's go ahead and make sure that this is selected. And let's um, come here, turn on the uh, smooth, uh, you know, vertices like this. And we just come here, let's drag, let's select this uh, vertice, hold down Alt and just drag it in just like that. So we'll have like a perfect straight line here. And we'll do the same thing for the other side as well. And, you know, we can leave it at that. So can we, we kind of have like a curved top. And then let's go and grab the uh, ellipse tool once again. Let's draw out a circle, not as big here, but kind of like that. Bring it to the top. Let's copy it and paste it in place. Let's go ahead and resize this down perfectly by holding down Alt and Shift, and maybe a little bit more. And let's select both of our circles here. Let's go up to Window and click on the Pathfinder, which mine's up, but I don't see where it's at. There it is. And let's subtract here, and we'll kind of create a nice little hoop. And if we really, really want to, you know, we want it to be cool, we can grab the rectangle tool and just like draw out like a, a string or whatever it would be. And from the top there, and we can align it up. And we just created a very easy ornament. Now let's say uh, you wanted to create, you know, something that's a little bit more impressive, kind of to, you know, make the mom at home happy. What you could do is, you know, we'll just go ahead and just copy this, we'll paste it in place, we'll move it over. And, you know, let's just say we just created the perfect circle once again. Let me actually get away from the Christmas tree. And, uh, and you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I am changing the color once again. I cannot stand that color. Teal, that's good. So let's go ahead and select the circle here, our ornament here. Hit A on our keyboard. Let's go ahead and select both the side vertices here. And let's hold down Shift and use the arrow key up to kind of bring it up like this. You know, it's kind of like bringing up the cheekbones on someone's face. I don't know. That was really weird. And then let's hit P on our keyboard to go to the pen tool. And let's hold down Alt and kind of bring these verses in at the bottom. And we kind of just created a very easy, you know, I guess I would, what I would consider more of a heart shape ornament. And, you know, that was one variation. And let's do something that's a little bit more tough. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste it in place. Move this over. And let's grab both of these vertices on the side here. And let's bring them down instead of kind of leaving them you know, in the midpoint or up, but bring them down kind of just like this. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go and grab the top here, you know, hit P, hold down Alt, and we're going to kind of draw out like the perfect line, make it a little bit longer like this. And then let's select like one of these points here and, you know, kind of bring this in the middle, kind of like this. We're kind of dragging this out. Maybe we'll raise this up by a little bit and We'll bring this in like this. So kind of like this sort of nice looped feel. And then what we're going to do is hit A on our keyboard once again, select this vertice and just delete it. Okay. And let's go and, you know, select this uh, side of our ornament, copy it, paste it in place, bring it over, go up to object, transform, reflect, and make sure reflect it over the Y axis. And then we can come here and kind of, you know, put this back together. And I'll just zoom in here and hold down Alt to kind of zoom into um, the, uh, you know, document here. And, you know, this needs a little bit of work, but let's go ahead and just select both these sides here. Let's add them to back together with the Pathfinder. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll select this ornament completely, hit V on our keyboard, 
and we'll kind of just like make this a little bit more skinny and reline that in the center there. You know, and then maybe let's go ahead and get like these two points to like sort of touch each other. So bring them down and just at least try to match it up as perfectly as you can. And then let's put the final touches on it. Let's go ahead and select the three bottom vertices down here. Let's hold down shift and hit the arrow keys up to kind of, you know, squeeze this all together and make it just a little bit smaller. And there we have a uh, another customized ornament that we actually put just a little bit more work into it. I'm not sure if it's my favorite, but, you know, if you wanted to put work into an ornament, there you have it. So we just created everything. If you really wanted to as well, you could always add the little, uh, you know, loops you know, the little uh, strings to each of these ornaments like I did in my demo here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please be sure to check out my social media network so you don't miss an upload. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.